Cheers Choice and Eddie the Valiant. And we have saw all of your many one request. We went to a vegan restaurant today for this week's food review. It was called Seabird Kitchen in Long Beach, California. And what did you think based off of just vibes? We'll go there. Go old school if you are an OG fan. OG fan. If you're an OG subscriber, we're not fancy, we're friends. Um, what did you think of the vibe? Besides the smell, it was pretty cool. I don't appreciate how we went in there and he was like, then he sniffs me. I'm like, I showered. Why did he sniff me? It, it smelled like a burger place, but more floral. And it's still the same sweaty underlayer, just floral. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know why I was the first victim, but. Um, so the vibe itself was really pretty. Yeah. Uh, we decided to eat on the inside because mm -hmm. I get cold very quickly, even though we're by the door. So eventually towards the end, I did get cold. Anyways. Um, like, like the murals that were laying the ceiling, all the little pictures, they're pretty interesting. So he got jackfruit nachos and I got Beats Me Burger. Yeah, Beats Me. Beats Me. And so everything we had was vegan. Everything we served is vegan. Um, I got a blueberry mint lemonade. I got root beer. Root beer. His was good. But oh, made... yeah. Too much sugar, though, but good. <laughs> um, so what did you think of your food? Uh, it was surprising. Um, not the flavor profile that I was expecting. And when they did come out and I tasted them, they tasted very similar to Rancheritas, uh, the chips. We'll put a picture here or something. <laughs> mm. The Rancheritas chips, if you're Mexican, you already know what chips I'm talking about. Little red ones with banana. Mm -hmm. um, tasted like that, uh, but more well rounded. And the sauce they give on the side was very bright, not spicy though. I was expecting it to be spicy, especially with ranchero sauce, but it was yeah. bright. So I was scared of my burger. It, I picked it because it was popular and because I like puns. I like a good burger pun. I'm a big Bob's Burgers fan. So if it's a pun in there, I'm like, I'm gonna eat it. But then it came. And I was like, that's a... <laughs> that's a weird that's, looking pity. That's, that's a weird looking burger. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they were, like, do all places do this? When they serve you a burger, they Indeed, serve it, it in halves. Like, yeah. In halves, like, so here's what it looks like on the inside. This is the top part. And I'm just like, why is that sauce gray? But then I ate it, and I was like, whoa, this is delightful. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, I mean, like, they're not really going for a meat flavor. Yeah, they're, like, not trying to be a beef patty. They're like, we're doing our own thing. This but it was burger good. Like for us. And it was good, yeah. I actually prefer the burger over the fries. The fries, something about the seasoning I didn't like. You know, the fries are good. They take the classic McDonald's recipe, but just changed the oil and added some seasoned salt yeah they were they were good i mean they're very solid solid fries but uh, <laughs> felt like they were lacking just a little something do that just shake they were lacking what a little something i don't know it's <laughs> something with the nachos I, I i feel like they need a little bit more of a kick, a kick. But, uh, maybe but, because you're not you're not into plain food yeah uh, you know i you need a little spice uh, somehow spice. Uh, i mean I did enjoy the fact that the nachos had a lot of like cilantro, lime, and other flavors in it, but... Speaking of those nachos, oh. side story, side tangent. My mom found out the hard way that she's allergic to jackfruit. So, I was like, wait a minute. If she's allergic, I'm probably allergic. <laughs> I am. Yeah, so, I didn't eat his nachos, but I did sip from his cup, and instantly my lips started to tingle. I was like, I'm sure it's fine. But then I'm like, Eddie, mm, something's not right. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go to the bathroom and wash my hands, because, you know, just as you should. Mm -hmm. And I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, fudge. It looks like I got an injection. So, <laughs> I mean, I think it's better now. Yeah, it's starting to go down. It's going down. Yeah, luckily, she didn't actually touch the jackfruit. She touched my cup, which had jackfruit residuals in it. So, she is definitely allergic. So. Yeah. But this has nothing to do with the restaurant themselves. No. It's just something I learned about myself today. Fun moment to learn about. So the good thing that you got the burger and I got the, the, the nachos. Those are like the two popular items here. Mm -hmm. Our bill came to like 49 bucks. Yeah, 50 it's bucks. very expensive to it's be a vegan. Yeah. But in general, it's expensive to eat in Long Beach. Yeah, so 
tourist town. So. Besides the price, I actually liked it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a big fan of lemonade, but I'm down to try anything. Yeah, right, yeah, the lemonade could have used a little bit more sugar, but I'm more thinking, agave. Yeah, or something. But I understand they're going for the whole health food craze, or vegan healthy. It's not a craze. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It's okay. a lifestyle. So I see they're going for the whole vegan. <laughs> but, so what would you give this place out of? Do we want to do it out of five or out of ten? Well, if we're doing it out of ten, it's an eight. If we're doing it out of five, I don't know four. Three? Oh. Four. Three. Yeah. Four. Minus one or two, however the hell you want to do it mm -hmm. for the price. <laughs> it has no reason to be that expensive, but it was good. <laughs> you mad? Good. I mean, like it was like sixteen dollar nachos or something like that. Seventeen dollar yeah, nachos. Yeah, my burger was like eighteen. Yeah, yeah. So the price. Well, oh, we're yeah. staring at it in McDonald's right now. I don't even like McDonald's, but you know the funny thing is McDonald's is eight dollars for like a combo. So I'd rather go do this. It's eight dollars for a combo. Yeah, like combo started eight dollars down at McDonald's. McDonald's is really good, anyways. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we finally tried a vegan place. If you have a vegan place that you are like a ride or die for, where you like, you will love it. Prices are decent. It's great food. Leave it down in the comment section below. If not, recommend any other place. We will give it a try. Um, I did see a recommendation for Langer's. We didn't have time to go there yet because that's pretty... It's on the list, though. It's on the list. It's on the list. I have a list. I'm my, writing it down. My all-time favorite vegan place still is going to be a uh, Flaming... Power? Nah. Flaming Curry. Come on. Flaming Curry. They got vegan options. Agree to disagree. Mm, my power is just vegan McDonald's. That's why it's good. Better. It's better. Okay. I mean, they do have them, uh, the vegan animal soft rice. <laughs> vegan. <laughs> if you want more story time, food reviews, and entertainment, please like and subscribe. And as usual, stay, stay curious. curious, my friends. <laughs>